in the last video I was making this piece which is um, part of the cable management um, but also um, covers up the ball screw that runs down the middle you can see just here um, so this um, this guy here is going to have some cable chain which is this stuff um, that will run backwards and forwards um, along it and that will carry the cables uh, from the control box up here um, onto the machine and it will move with the gantry as this moves backwards and forwards. Um, so since the last video I've drilled and tapped two little holes in here which um, this will then attach to um, and then the top section then needs to be attached to something then that um, moves along with the gantry backwards and forwards and then there'll be another one of another one of these um, that then sits and moves backwards and forwards um, with the Z axis assembly as that moves backwards and forwards um, along the gantry. So I've made some parts in order to um, to assemble this. Is again all made out of um, aluminium angle. Um, so this part here sits along here. Um, with two more holes then to attach the cable chain this side um, and then this then acts as the um, the support then for the cable chain on the gantry um, so next thing to do is um, put all these bits and pieces together so I'm going to do that next so this is the this is the main part um, these bits attach onto the other end of the cable chain so they come along like this but the problem is is because um, because there's a radius that you have to deal with at this end um, at the moment everything's a bit too flat so it kind of um, these end up too close together if that makes any sense um, so in order to lift this one away from this one um, I've made this little spacer as well um, and then in order because this bit here because I've sawn away um, quite a bit of the, the metal um, I've also made this bit here which is basically just a strengthener that sits on the back of this one um, just to, to beef it up a bit so that uh, where it loses the strength of this bit it then gains it with this. Um, I trust it will all make sense when I, uh, when I put it together. So first off, a couple of little M4 screws that go through here. I'm using machine screws for this bit because they um, have quite a low profile head which is good because I need to keep this nice and clear for cables to run across it. Because these fit from behind and they're going to be really hard to access, um, I'm going to put a bit of thread lock on these. Right, now to mount it to the machine, so the cutouts that I've made are going to sit around all of these obstructions um, and then it's then going to be screwed back using um, some of these little um, T-nuts. Oh, 
got too much and so much, but Okay, and then for the cable chain. So that's going to be fixed down here into those holes there, and then the top half then um, onto here. So the bottom ones first. So, there it goes. So now I've just got to make another one of these to go um, that way along the gantry. <laughs> 